So one of the tricks that fear does and anxiety, um, which you really got to be careful about, because if you're not aware of it, then it's going to get you every time. It will give you a bad mood. You know, a lot of times when people say, I want to go to the gym, but I don't feel like it. That is one of the tricks of fear and anxiety to give you a bad feeling, to give you a scared feeling, a worried feeling. And it's, a, it's, the, it's the thoughts that start to create that and the emotions and the stories. So it's not easy at certain times for everybody. It's a real battle. So that's why it's good to be honest about what you're frightened of. If you can do it to yourself, confession, or with a mentor or a friend, or, or many friends or, or family, a combination of all. But ultimately, you're going to have to face it if you want to overcome it. So, for an, for example, if you want to, if you said that you're going to go gym today, but you woke up this morning and then you didn't feel like it, you you actually want to go, but you're not in the mood. You don't feel confident. You might not feel attractive. You might feel scared, anxious, lonely, overwhelmed. So you, you just want to block the fear out by not going to the gym. But if you keep doing that, you're never going to learn how to overcome your fears and you're not going to enjoy your life, obviously. So you really want to learn to exercise your courage and make a commitment. Fight it. Just tell yourself it's not going to be forever. If you don't go to the gym, then you're not going to make that progress. Whereas if you do go to the gym, you're going to be scared. You're going to be um, moody restless, anxious for, for a certain period, but then you're going to feel good after. The, the likelihood is you're going to feel always feel better for doing it as opposed to not doing it. So obviously that battle can be easier or harder on any given day. But nonetheless, most of the fears that people have, this is what people are frightened of. Confronting all of the details that come with fear. The fight or flight, the adrenaline, the negative thoughts, the intrusive thoughts, a combination of both that the bullying anxieties and fears and worries so that's why the quicker you can do it the more confidence you're going to gain and the more you're going to overcome your fears and then you're going to have the knowledge and the experience from facing a fear you can apply that in any area of life so i've said before from my story i was pretty much scared of everything so every fear that i faced gave me more courage to face another fear example when i was scared to go to the gym once i overcame that fear eventually i could face my fear of public speaking and then you know traveling to other countries anything that frightened me i could eventually face going to a doctor's appointment paying a bill starting a business dealing with um, difficult people at times uh, helping other people many different areas where fear shows up i could face it and overcome it. So I hope that helps you today. All right, good luck.